Okay, I'm just going to talk today about installing the PredBat add-on, which is the way to run PredBat within Home Assistant as an add-on. Um, this isn't the tool itself, it's the wrapper around it. So you can see the documentation here for the PredBat add-on, um, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. The first step is to add this repository as a customer repository. So we have settings, add-ons, add-on stores, repositories. I add it on here, and it'll appear on the list. Then if I close, refresh the page, and then go down, and I can find like that, then I will install it. It takes a few minutes because it has to um, download it and also build the Docker container. Um, mine's a fairly fast machine, so it shouldn't take too long. But if you've got a slow machine, it may take a little bit longer. So now I've got that set to start on boot. The first thing I'm going to do then is start the red bat, and that will actually get it to download the first version of it. Um, so what it will do is it will download it from the latest version, um, copy the files across, and then start it. And you're going to get this error saying you have a template configuration. So that's good. So now what you need to do is go to either to the file explorer or in my case, um, I will have mounted it locally as well. But if I look in the file editor and I look under add-ons config and then this directory here with the, <clears throat> the letters and PredBat, you will find all the code, the template apps.yaml here. And this is what you actually need to edit to get yourself set up. Then what you're going to do is, <clears throat> is edit that file. Um, to get it um, correct. And then once you do that, you can restart PredBat and then it will actually um, spring to life. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to uh, copy in my existing apps.yaml, but if you're installing for the first time, you need to set it up um, correctly. So once that's, that's set up for the first time, just going to have to restart really that again, and then it will um it will get it going. Um, I'm going to show you that in just a second. And after putting back my settings, um, I'm going to go to my add-ons again. I'm going to find red that, and I'm going to hit restart. And now I can't fix this up correctly. I should see in the log file it restarting, and hopefully I won't get the error this time about that. It's complaining about my car. That's probably because it can't speak to my tester at the moment. But hopefully, if I come back now, when I go to the PredBat dashboard, you can see the warning about the car. Um, but these uh, other charts should start to appear as it runs. So you can see the chart starting to appear, <coughs> and that's up and running. 